SR93 back with another video. Yeah, man, I was I was looking at William Monroe Jr. one of his videos, and uh, like it, it was in the interview, and he was asked about Triple G's gloves, and he says, "Hey, people say it looks smaller." I think I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember exactly what he said. He says it looks smaller. Your eyes are not deceiving you. It is smaller. Triple G has been getting criticism for his gloves and sometimes his raps maybe even like those like gloves and raps or either one from William Monroe Jr. Gay Brazado, Andre Berto. Um there might be more, but these are the only three I know of. See Gay Brazado said there was cushion missing on his knuckles. On the like it was still eight ounce or what ten ounce or whatever it was, but there was cushion missing on the knuckle side. So, and there was another one, Andre, Ber Andre Berta said he spoke to fighters who sparred with Golovkin and they said even when they're blocking shots, when it connects their hands and arms, they get bruised quite easily. And Andre Berta being a fighter himself, and being around fighters himself, he's been a fight in the fight game for a long time. That makes no sense to him. If a fighter can't make sense of it, Gabe, if there's three fighters, William and Rose Jr., Gabe Rosado, Andre Berto, saying about this, plus you look at um how he's damaging fighters. I think it's Matthew Macklin, or I can't remember the exact fighter, and there was also uh, Gabe Rosado when he fought. Golovkin was able to bust him up pretty easily, and that's easier to bust. It's easy to bust people up when your knuckles are, don't have that much padding in front of them. The, so when you look at all of this, all of this, the gloves, three fighters speaking about this, maybe more, and you know, the actual, how the fight plays out, the people getting bust up pretty quickly, Hellbrook pressing his face, like, I mean, that's possible even with gloves, people have that. Some day, people can break other people's faces with gloves, but you know, when all of these things come in. Coming to one big picture, it seems a bit suspicious. It seems dodgy. It really seems dodgy. I personally look and keep in mind. I've actually like doesn't Golovkin punch walls before a fight? Does he not? I swear he does. You know, and people, you know, sometimes you might punch a wall here and there to like, you know, get hyped up and shit. But I think he punch. Uh, uh, he seems to punch a wall quite often, or that's at least that's what I heard. Right. He punches walls like I think the the theory behind it is he's trying to get rid of the cushion from his gloves and kind of like away from his knuckle the front of his knuckles basically so he can connect his knuckles harder to the opponent like if if that makes sense basically he can he remove he's removing the cushion from his gloves by punching the wall. This needs to be investigated and Travis Gotti said this. This needs to be investigated, but I think I'm going to go a step further and say Gol Golovkin needs to be investigated. His team needs to be investigated. Abel Sanchez needs to be investigated. You know, um, the thing about Abel Sanchez is he was with Kol Kovalev, and you remember if you um, look at Kovalev's record, he he killed someone in the ring. He killed someone in the ring, and um, those those raps did not have any writing on them, like because normally raps do have writing. I think when it's off, when it's checked, they have some writing to approve it or something like that. I'm not really fully sure, but these his gloves did not have raps on, like writing. So his raps did not have writing on it. Abel Chance, Sanchez was the trainer. Abel Sanchez trains um, Kovalev, and the suspicious about his gloves moves on to Gennady Golovkin. Uh, and there's suspicious about suspicions about Golovkin's gloves. So, hey, listen, he needs to be investigated. Who knows? He might be innocent. He might be because um, he talks a lot of shit as well. And Travis Gotti. Now, I keep mentioning Travis Gotti because I do think he's unbiased. There's one vid. There's some videos, samples he um, he put together to show that Golovkin's gloves, like they may, they're suspicious. You know, when you look at those videos that Travis Gotti has uh, posted, I think I'll send a uh, link in the description of that video. 
it, it seems very suspicious. Abel, like the whole team seems scared as soon as like people come around to them, and then the, their v- behavior seems suspicious. And also, they get grants, right? And are uh, grants from Everlast? Wait, let me let me Google this shit. Yeah, there are Everlast grants. Grants, rather. But either way, I think Everlast needs to be investigated. You know how Floyd was catching Maidana with those sh- uh, small ass gloves? Someone needs to catch him. Someone needs to catch Golovkin like that. Someone needs to check his gloves like that. Because I remember in the video in, in the, for the first Maidana fight, Floyd was checking those gloves. Someone needs to do that. Someone really needs to do that. Everlast needs to be investigated. They need to, see, like, normally Grant, like, as Gabe Rosado said, he was wearing gl- Grants too. But his Grant, they were all designed differently. I guess, um, Triple G, guess, custom made gloves, which needs to be investigated. In the fight, they need to get his gloves out. Like, right after a fight, they need to get his gloves out. They need to check his gloves. Right, they had to snatch the gloves off him and check it on camera. Right, because say I heard his brother snatch the gloves off Triple G quickly so that no one gets a hold of them. But they need to put that on camera, like when they're taking the, they need to follow Triple G until they get the gloves off. Um, yeah, and I think this, like, because like, this is kind of like the underground world is questioning this what i mean by that is like the youtube box community is really questioning this i feel like someone in hbo needs to question that but you know how they go man they they need triple g they need canelo they need these few fighters that they got left few big names to make them money to li- um live up to the hype and then fuck boys need triple g and his little bitty gloves but you know, that's what I th- think of it. Uh, Triple G needs to be investigated. Um, Everlast definitely needs to be investigated. Someone needs to pull. Someone needs to take action. When Travis got it, said he needs to investigate. He definitely needs to investigate. Someone needs to find out. See, like Anthony Margarita was pulling that shit off with those raps, but Nassim Richardson, like someone had to pull it off, and it was Nassim Richardson that did that. He was. He had a good eye, I guess. He had an eye of an eagle. Looked at that shit. Found out quick that it was some dodgy shit. Someone needs to do that. They need to either investigate. I think someone just needs to, as soon as the fight's over, they need to somehow get his gloves within that ring. Or they need to follow with a camera. And they need to ask him the hard question. Hey, what about your gloves? Can we compare your gloves or like, I don't know man, something man, they need to do something, they need to catch them off guard. And e- look, even if they can't hold, the reason why I said they need to catch them off guard, because even if they don't get hold of the gloves after the fight, and before the fight, because shit, the thing is like, the f- the gloves could be good, the gloves could be not bad. Uh, when they're brand new, but Golovkin could be punching the wall right before the fight, and who knows, that could be moving the cushion away from the knuckles, so uh, we want to check the gloves of both fighters before and after the fight, so we can compare, because Triple G seems suspicious as fuck, so yeah, that's the video, Um, tell me what you think of it, and I'm out.